Hey, what's up guys? So, as you can see, I have no makeup on, but today I'm going to do a talk through video. Um, uh, as you can see by the title down below that I'm going to be doing my um, foundation routine and my concealing routine um, currently, right now. Um, since it's easier for me to do with tutorials, so I can just go straight to the eyes and my blah blah blah, this and that. Um, so I don't have to do that in the beginning of my tutorials. So instead I'll just link this video in the description box of whatever tutorial coming up. So yeah, if you like it, please click the like button. If you don't like it, let me know so I can just continue on, on my regular tutorial, how I do my tutorials from foundation, from bare face to to my full face. Um, let me know if you like it. If not, um, if this is way better, let me know as well. So, um, let's get started. <laughs> so the foundation I'm currently using is the NARS Sheer Glow. This is the closest color that, that I have. This is not a perfect, perfect match for me, but it's kind of close, but it just sets it in after um, my foundation. Um, into my skin. Sometimes I use a primer, sometimes I don't. It's not on my routine. Um, I haven't find I haven't found um, a good primer yet. <laughs> um, I'm still investing in some because the one I use is actually discontinued, which I used on my tutorial, which is the um, Sephora Base Zero Balance one. They discontinue this, um, so I'm gonna s try to finish this and. Um, use a different uh, face primer uh, so I can get a current one um, and yeah so I'm sad that this continued because this is this was a good primer and it's inexpensive because it is the Sephora brand so yeah just letting you know that now but today I'm not going to wear any um, primer because I'm not going to wear too special sorry there's like so many <laughs> I have a lot of Lip balm there. Okay, so so currently I'm using the Nars Sheer Glow. This is the closest. Everything else is either too dark or too light. This is like in between. So I usually do my face and then my hair. That's why some of my tutorials that you see my hair is wet. And the the brush I'm going to be using today is kind of dirty. I used this yesterday. Is the Elf powder brush? It's the flat top brush. As you can see. Elf powder brush. It's either this one or this one, but I use this with a different foundation. This is the Real Techniques uh, buffing brush. So I use either or for my foundation. And I'm just gonna pour the product. You don't need a lot, that's actually, I think that's a lot. And then I'm just gonna dot this everywhere on my face. And then I'm just going to buff everything in. So next is concealing my under eyes. I use two concealers. Um, yeah, so these two I use. Um, this one is the Maybelline Adrienne Wine Concealer, and this one is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Um, I like the Pro Longwear better than the Maybelline um, Adrienne Wine, but this is just brightens up my under. This is good for brightening up my under eyes, and then this is just more extra coverage, which I love. I love this concealer. It's better than the Studio Finish Concealer from Mac. Um, plus it's drugstore, so it's inexpensive. So what I do is I take the edgy one first and then just do a triangle shape under my eyes. And I put a lot of this, so don't be afraid because when I put it on, you usually see me use this concealer to do that. Anyway, the my tutorials and like I just pack it on, which is, I know which is a little crazy and a little light, but this just breaks it up my eyes and just wakes me up. So I just do a triangle. I put it all the way to my hairline up to there. 
I really hope my phone is on like silent or my break because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> and then I blended in with a blending brush. And then I just blend it. As you can see, it like just instantly just brighten up my eyes. This is not good concealer for covering any like blemishes because it's such a light concealer, but this is really great for brightening up, brightening up my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, Photo Ready Concealer and then I'm just going to straight from the tube conceal. And then I either use a brush, the brush I would use is the Real Technique Dual Deluxe Crease Brush, which looks like this. Um, this is great for concealing um, under eyes, but today I'm going to be using my fingers. It's usually my middle finger or my ring finger, but they said to use your ring finger better, but for some reason, my middle finger always like wants to get into action, so you'll see. But usually, you're supposed to use your ring finger and just blend. Okay, so that is basically done with the liquidy stuff. Um, now it's time to set everything. And I used the um, MSF Medium Dark because everything else is too light. It's just perfect. Mine broke. I don't know if you could tell. Like Mine, mine totally broke. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I can always like magnetize into like something. Um, and then I use either... Uh, any fluffy brush, I'm probably going to end up using a new one because that one's disgusting. So any fluffy um, big face brush, I use the complexion brush I'm going to be using by e.l.f. Um, you can use a flat top powder brush like this or like a big fluffy brush like this. This one is from Bobbi Brown. Um... Or like a small one, whatever whatever your preference for powder is. But I use any big brush for this. And what I do, I start under the eyes first, just to set my concealer. And I kind of load it a lot. And then I just do the rest. Whatever's left on the brush. And then... Don't forget the neck. Is that it? Okay. So, that is my flawless current um, foundation and concealing routine. It's kind of easy. It's like just two minutes of my makeup time for to do my face and yeah I'm pretty liking this um, routine for it so if I change anything dramatic then I will do another video so yeah I hope you enjoy this um, my current face foundation concealing routine and I'll definitely see you in my next bye